What's going on, ICers? <coughs> Another day, quick video. I'm on my way to do a job real quick in the morning. Today's Tuesday. It's about to be 10 o'clock. It's like 10 minutes from my house, 15 minutes from the house. So I decided to do a quick video. I've been doing the auto parts now for uh, a week now. Yesterday, this is this is my second week actually doing auto parts. Everything's going good. Um, I'm finishing up about midnight every night. And so it's, it's, it's cupcake, cupcake work. I got it down. I you know once you you like you want it and you and you inventory your parts and you get the, to the stop and you take your time and you unload it so you don't miss anything and have to go back and deliver it once you find it three stops down the road. So that happened the first day. I had to backtrack, backtrack twice, and that added like two hours to my day. I was done like 3 a.m. my first night. Things only happened to me once after that. I inventory my parts 100%. I make sure everything's off offloaded before I leave. Um, but yeah, that's that. You know, man, I might bring you up. I might do a little ride along. I haven't done that because I, you know, I gotta record in the warehouse and stuff. And it's just too dark. But um, I'll do a little quick video, maybe on delivering auto parts to give you a glance of what I'm delivering. Like right now, I'm in the van right now, but I'm gonna go pick up some wheelchairs. Um, I'm gonna go to the motion company, mobility company, something like that. And I gotta pick up about probably six wheelchairs and bring them down to Worcester, Massachusetts. So what's the, what's the mass? Um, it's about 50 mile run. And um, that's it. And then I go home after that or I'll just call dispatch to see what else they got. But I got I got off of this job yesterday. I took it. Since I'm home doing nothing in the morning, I might as well do some other work. I went to Connecticut on Friday. Um, I was actually able to go in my car because I was I had to pick up like four boxes and I was able to put, put, put them in, put them in my car. So so I went to Connecticut, uh, which was an easy easy peasy job. Um, and that's it, you know. Pick up some wheelchairs and we'll see what happens. Alright? Well, I'm all loaded up. I got five, six chairs. They're actually one is a power chair and um, five manual chairs. They're all custom. Custom accessories on them. I gotta bring them from the factory where they make them down to their um, I think like a storefront location. So the customers can pick them up. Um, so they they help me load them in. They got like a they got like a platform that's van high. So they push them up the ramp and right into the van they go. So you know it's an easy job. They help me load it. They gave me instructions on how to like because they have like different kind of braking systems on these chairs, like so they won't move and stuff. So um, and when I get there, someone's gonna help me unload them. Actually, they have a ramp over there also. It's gonna push them down, push them down the ramp. So it's it's a fairly easy job. There's no no hard work involved in this one. It's fairly easy to load them, load them in the van. Um, right there, like this one here is kind of a big one. Uh, that one's the the one to the hidden uh, point. Yeah, that one right there. That's that's the power chair. Uh, so. So it's easy job and uh, it's about 40 40 40 45 mile drive from where I'm at right now and um, that's it I'll be a quick little quick little run and I'll, when, I, when I'm done with that I'll call dispatch maybe if, I, if they got something else fairly quick and, and close I'll do that before I go home to get my little rest and um, Get ready for my night run tonight. So, anyway, we'll see what happens. Uh, let's continue on with this delivery. Well, I'm all done with the delivery. I unloaded my uh, these six, um, five, um, five chairs. It was easy to unload. 
that's it. It's 12 o'clock. You know, it's um, 11.30 now. It was a 10 o'clock pickup. So I just dropped it off. Uh, I did a call this back. I'm going to go home. Have some lunch. You know, rest a little bit. Before I head out. This afternoon. I'm going to check some stuff in the van before I go to. I like to put a little, a little, I like to put things over, make sure everything's good before I head out. But yeah, if you have any questions, uh, you know, just shoot me an email, rmbcs at yahoo.com. You can just leave me a comment. Now, a lot of people have been asking me, um, asking me about um, insurance. Right now, the company that I work for, they don't require so much insurance. It's a basic 300,000 single limit. Um, they don't require cargo insurance. They don't require liability insurance. I have all those insurance, but the company I'm doing full work right now, they don't require that. So, you know, and all my insurance are up for renewal in November. I think I'm not gonna renew because I don't need them. So why renew if I don't need them? But I pay about I pay about 300 um, bucks a month for my cargo insurance with uh, Progressive, and uh, I pay about 1,600 bucks a year for my uh, commercial insurance on my van. Sorry, my, my cargo insurance is 300 bucks a year. 300 or, three, or 350, either way, I forget. It's 350 a year. And my in the, in the van is about 1600, 1650 a year. Um, they're both too progressive. Um, people have been leaving comments saying that they're getting quoted $8,000, $6,000 a year. I don't know how that's possible. Um, so. You know, I'm in. I'm, I'm up in the Boston area. People who told me this, who have left messages on that, are from like Orlando, Florida, Central Florida. Which I have a brother in Florida, and he says the insurance is not much different from Boston, from, from the from the Boston area. So I don't know what kind of quotes you guys are getting. Um, but eight thousand dollars is how much you will pay for the twenty-four foot box truck. And that's for like a million bucks. Um, liability. If it's just a regular standard cargo van, you know, it's, it shouldn't be more. It shouldn't be more than two thousand dollars a year. Um, and like it's and like and, and it's also based on your insurance, on 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 your license, on your driving record. Like I have a good record, so I pay about sixteen hundred bucks. I'm gonna shop around when it's time to renew because Progressive seems to give you a good rate and every year it increases little, little by little. So I think I'm gonna shop around, maybe go with like Commerce Insurance um, or one of the local companies around here in my state um, and maybe I can get a, a better deal. Cause I was, paying a, I was paying about this much and I was quoted like 1200 bucks from Progressive like four years ago, five years ago, and now I'm up to like 1600. Um, they do at least increase the rates every year a little bit. So I'm gonna shop around, see what I can find cheaper when it's up for four hour renewal. But, you know, if you, if you look at, if you, you know, this this ways of doing it, um, Geico offers commercial insurance, but not in my state. You can go Geico, you can go Progressive, or just go to a local um, insurance agent that works for multiple companies and uh, maybe they can get you uh, multiple quotes from like multiple companies. Um, or you can go online and there's insurance companies that you can go online. There's, um, I don't know, nationwide, there's, you know, it's all state. All those companies offer commercial insurance. So you can go and just go online, get a quote online, or call them up, or better yet, go like a, a 
your local insurance agent that specializes in commercial insurance and you know you can you, you can go that way but eight thousand dollars for a cargo van is a lot a lot the last time i was quoted eight thousand dollars i was quoted eight thousand dollars i wanted to get a policy that i can a policy that um it's like a vid policy so it's a policy that i can just switch vehicles as often as i wanted because so i was going to use a policy for um rental trucks like box trucks so i would just call the policy i have this truck for this month and then i will exchange the truck with the with the budget get another 24 inch a 24 foot box truck and you can just switch trucks so it'll cover every truck you're in it's called a VIN policy or some sort. It's got some weird name to it. But that was $8,000. Um, due to the fact that, you know, you're switching, you're switching vehicles often, and sometimes you may be in a more expensive vehicle than, um, than, than others, so that's why it's expensive. But as far as like box trucks, you know, I've paid in the past $3,500 a year. So cargo vans should be, 1200 to like 1800 2000 dollars a year depending on your on your license so you know that's just uh this contact a local insurance agent and maybe they can get you guys better some like multiple quotes or go online um you know so but uh As far as insurance, you know, it can, different companies want different policies. Like I've had companies that want commercial, they want liability. In addition to the liability, they want to have a million dollar liability. In addition, you have to have commercial on your policy, on your vehicle. Um, cargo insurance, you know, some wants you to have workers' comp insurance. Some, if they are with uh, CMS, which is uh, a platform that they, they use to pay, sometimes you can get workers comp insurance for them for like 15 bucks a week, or depending on how much you're making that week. But um, you know, it's every company's different. Big companies want more things like new vehicles. People have mentioned that they want. Vehicles no later, no no older than five years, and well, those companies if they want a vehicle no more than five years old or, or ten years old. They must pay some good money because I work with companies who say you must have a newer vehicle, a white vehicle, good condition, and my van is in fairly good condition. You know, it's not ten years. My my van's an old four. So my van is, Jesus, my van is 14 years old. Um, but it's, sorry, it's in good condition. But when I got this job, the owner told me to send him a picture of the van. So I sent him a picture of a van I got off Google. You know, so it's my same van, but newer. Like it looks super, super like new. I sent him that picture and but when I show up to the jobs, man, you see the vans, people driving, they got cardboard on the windows, because they broke the windows, and then we got them fixed, they got rust, dents, like, they, they need alignments, they, they really crappy looking vans, and they still doing the work. You know, it's not like they're gonna be, you know what I mean, verifying your van, you know, there's, there's, there's ways around that. And if you want to know ways around that, shoot me an email, rmbcs at yahoo.com, rmbcs at yahoo.com. I'm not going to say, I'm not going to say on the video ways around um, using an older van to do this, to do this work, but um, if you shoot me an email, I will let you know how to do it. So I'm not going to go out there and put it on the video let my secrets be known but uh, there's ways around that you know there's definitely ways around 
for getting away with an older man to do this, to, 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 to do this kind of work. But anyway, um, I'm going to cut this video right now. So if you have any questions, you can shoot me an email, leave a comment. Uh, thanks for all your subscribers. And um, if, you like the vi if you like the video, hit like and, um, and share it. So uh, anyway, I'll see you guys later. Maybe I'll shoot a video tonight on my auto part run. But it's just dark, so I already tried it, but it's just so dark. And uh, but anyways, I'll see you guys later. And uh, take care and travel safe, okay? Peace.